Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's tutorial is going to be a drugstore slash affordable makeup tutorial. I wanted to do something kind of different, use some new products, not use my regular go-to stuff because I feel like we gotta be able to create the same look using different things. So I wanted to do that for you guys and show you guys that it is definitely achievable. As you can see, I'm playing with tons of color today, which is not what I normally do, but that is okay because it's so good to always step out of your box and try new stuff. In this tutorial, I'm going to be using a ton of Maybelline, L'Oreal, Pixie, ColourPop, Vanity Planet brushes, Wet n Wild. And since we are doing this affordable tutorial, I had to also use affordable brushes. It only made sense. So I did use the Vanity Planet for this reason. So they come in this cute little traveling pouch, which makes it very easy to kind of roll up and go. You can put them away, store them. Um, they each have their own spots so they don't get damaged. Sometimes when brushes don't have something like this, if you throw them in your bag or just kind of leave them around, they end up getting frayed and the brushes get ruined. And so what I love about this too is that there's 15 that come in the set. Um, they are all cruelty free and synthetic. And what's great about synthetic is that they don't hold and harbor onto bacteria. So you don't get any of that yucky yucky stuff after a while. And I'm sure you guys know that that causes you to break out. So definitely a plus on these. And they just have a variety of brushes as well. So you have your fan brush for obviously your highlighting. You have a couple blending brushes. You have some lip brushes, um, some flat synthetic ones, which are always great for the eyelid, concealing, a little bit of everything. And then you have like a kabuki, a flat kabuki brush, a bronzing brush, which is what I did, and you'll see in the video how I did it. And I'm also loving the birch wood handles on these, super chic and 2016, I'm loving that. So I'm all about this, I'm all about using something affordable for you guys, so I wanted to share that. And what's great too is that I also linked them below if you guys want to check out their website and see maybe sales have going on. I know that they always run up to 70% off, so if you are on the hunt for new brushes or looking for something new um, and different to try, these are definitely worth it and I hope you guys really check them out just to see maybe what's going on. So yes. Definitely on the approved affordable makeup brushes. So I hope you guys are loving what you are seeing right now. And if you do, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and enjoy the tutorial. I'm going to go in doing my eyebrows first, like I do in every other video, doing the exact same steps, just obviously different product. So first I'm taking in the Brow Stylist Definer Pencil from L'Oreal in the shade Brunette. I'm just doing light sketchy motions throughout the brow and making sure just to put pressure in the areas that have a little more gaps. Also doing light flicks towards the front so it looks more like hair strands. That will give it a very natural hair stroke effect. And at the very end, just brush everything up with the spoolie to just kind of blend in all of the shadow color. Now I'm gonna take in the Maybelline Proper Size Volumizer. Maybe it's Maybelline. This has actual fibers in this. So if your brows are very thin and you have like lack of fullness on them, it's gonna bring a lot of that back to it. So what I'm gonna do, because my eyebrows are full but they are sparse um, and I have little gaps in between, I'm just going to tug it at my root and just kind of style them up. It just helps out so I don't go too dark with the actual pencil as well. Now I'm gonna go in with the small shading brush from the Vanity Planet brush set. And I added a little bit of the Maybelline H01 concealer to clean underneath of my brows. And now with the large shading brush, I'm gonna use again the Age of Wine Concealer and apply that all over my eyelid, kind of as a base. Now I'm gonna take in the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade 110 with again the same flat shading brush and I'm going to set my concealer. I'm just gonna pat it on my brow and the inner part of my eye as well. And then just very, very lightly all over, just kind of spread everything I just did. So I'm going to be using two different eyeshadow palettes today. So one is the Maybelline Graffiti Nudes that has a lot of bold colors in there. There's also some blacks and some champagnes. So you can definitely create anywhere from a bold, extreme look to something a little more subtle if you wanted to. Um, and there is mattes and metallics all in this palette, which is amazing. And the second one isn't from a drugstore, but it is Morphe. And this is their li little palette. Cute. So in here, I'm actually only gonna be using one of the shades, which is this reddish color for my transition. I'm using this because it does have more red and it's more matte, and that's kind of what I need to start off with. And then from there, I'm gonna build with these colors on top. So again, Morphe, Maybelline. Going in with the Benny Planet smudging brush, I'm gonna pick up this maroon shade on this palette, and I'm getting a pretty good amount all over the brush. From there, I'm going to be applying it to the inner and outer part of my eye. I'm going to use that brush to lightly smudge everything out, however keeping it in place. Now I'm gonna go in with a tapering brush and grab a little bit of that neutral color. 
And then from there, I'm just gonna blend everything in circular motion, kind of going up all the way to the brow. I'm not gonna pick up a little bit of this pink eyeshadow with the same blending brush and go over everything I just did again. Oh, yes, honey. And now I'm gonna grab a little bit of that black eyeshadow with the same smudging brush and apply that again to the inner part of my eye. Right in there. I don't wanna take it too high. I'm now gonna take in the Maybelline Master Prime Shadow Base. This is in the shade Illuminate HW, I don't even know, I think there's only one. This is a long lasting shadow base. I'm gonna apply right to the middle of my eye. I'm gonna go right in the center and just pop that thing on. It's creating this chunk right in the middle of my eye. From there, I'm gonna go in with the large shading brush and press it down. Cause I wanna keep the width of it. I don't want it to go smaller, so I'm just gonna push it and kind of spread it around. Gonna spread it like butter. I'm gonna pick up this beautiful shimmering shadow and press it directly over that base to really get that pop. And yeah, just kind of go all the way back up now. And going back in with that shading brush, I'm gonna add just a little more of the Maybelline Pink right back in the middle. I'm gonna clean up my under eyes with my favorite Neutrogena makeup removing cleansing wipes. I swear guys, I have packets of these in my house, next to my bed stand, in my car, like I cannot live without them. Um, but these are absolutely amazing when you're in the middle of doing your makeup and you just have to, you, know, you get a little bit of pink, get a little bit of fallout, this is perfect to clean it up. Now I'm gonna take in the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara to play at my lashes before I do my falsies. Now for my lashes, I'm gonna be using the NYX Be Wicked eyelashes. So I'm going to actually double them up to get the volume that I did on this one. I'm just going to pop them right in the middle. So I'm gonna be using the Pixi Glotation Day 2, which is uh, actually one of my favorite moisturizers to use during the day. I used to use this on brides back when I was freelancing and it made their skin just <laughs> I'm gonna be applying this with a foundation brush. So two pumps is what I normally like to use myself being more on the drier side. And I'm gonna just apply this first to kind of the high points of my face and I guess everywhere at this point. Kind of just press and push into my skin. I actually do love applying moisturizer with a brush just because it's less pressure onto the face. You avoid getting germs onto there. For my primer, I'm gonna be using the Soap and Glory one heck of a blot. So I'm gonna just press this into the skin so for my foundation and concealer, I'm gonna be using my two fave drugstore foundation and concealers ever, which is the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Foundation. And again, the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I am now back to my normal shade, which is 228. And in this one, I will be using the Neutralizer. I'm gonna start off by applying a little bit of the foundation onto the foundation brush and brushing this all over my skin. And now, to take away all the Halloween partying I was doing. Bye bye, bye bye. And I'm just going to press it on. Press? <laughs> I'm just going to press this all the way down. Sounds like I'm making tortillas, okay. And then just keep on doing the same thing to the other side. Press, press, press. I'm going to set my skin with the Better Skin Powder from Maybelline in the shade 30 Warm Nude with this pretty nice big fluffy brush. I'm gonna press into there and it's going to just lightly press this all over my skin. But I can just really, really make sure it's pressed instead of going like this right away. I'm gonna go in with the NYX Cheek on Cheek and I'm gonna be using this contouring color right here. Shrink my forehead down, please. And now I'm just gonna go With my blush, I'm gonna go in using the Pixie Touch of Blush book and picking up a little bit with an angled brush and applying this to the apples of my cheeks and only the apples of my cheeks. I'm gonna go back in with the Morphe palette using that orange shadow again and this angled brush from the set as well. I'm gonna go right, gonna go right in the center, right there, and connect, connect. I'm gonna smoke that thing out. Gonna use that same angle brush and gonna grab a little bit more of that pink and just go right over what I just did. Do not be afraid to go low with these kind of colors. The smudging brush is here to save you and blend you out. 
And now to top off my eyes, I'm just going to coat the bottom lashes with the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara once again. And now to give my skin the ultimate glow, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Precious Petals Mega Glow Highlighter. This stuff is one of the best, absolute best drugstore highlighters I've ever encountered in my life. The blind, the blinding that this does. It is so amazing. So I'm going to be taking in the Vanity Planet Fan Brush for this. Love a little bit of a glow on the chin. So pretty. For my lips, I'm going to top them off with the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip Paints in the color Viper. So I'm going to fill them in first all over my lip and then from there define them with the lip brush. So I'm going to line just a little bit using the Tarte Squad Lip Liner. And for the final touches, I'm going to set my makeup using the Maybelline Master Fix Setting Spray. Just going to... Oh, love the way that smells. And that completes today's look, guys. I hope you are all subscribed. If you are not, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. Comment below and let me know what you guys want to see for future videos. I love hearing what you guys are interested in viewing and seeing. And I will see you guys next time.